हेलो एवरीबडी मनीषा यर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू अपोलॉजाइज फॉर अपलोडिंग माई सेकेंड वीडियो सो लेट एंड सेकेंड ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर व्यूइंग माई वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द रीडिंग टिप्स टिप नंबर वन इज टू मैनेज टाइम विच इज वेरी 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 एसेंशियल टू स्टार्ट योर रीडिंग एग्जाम और टू प्रिपेयर फॉर योर रीडिंग आई एस रीडिंग एग्जाम सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू अलॉट योर टाइम Uh, to the different section and for that you need to practice it before your exam so as you all must be knowing in, as you go with the section the the level of a difficulty increases so you need to keep more time for your last section and for the other two section you need to manage in the lesser time as compared to the last one so what you can do is you can also start with the harder one or you can start with the easy one so that you don't have that much tension of completing your exam at the end so what i would suggest you is to go on with the flow you you should do the section 1 first and then you should move towards other section you can allot 15 minutes to section 1 15 minutes to section 2 and 20 minutes to section 3 so that you can have 10 minutes at the end to go through your answers in the answer sheet the tip number 2 is to write the answer simultaneously on the answer sheet and not to write the answers on question paper only because it is possible that at the end uh, you cannot check your answers and in haste you might write wrong answers in your answer sheet so this this will be a very very silly mistake and you don't want to do that i'm sure so what you can do is that you can first finish your section 1 and then you can jot down the answer in the answer sheet and then you should proceed with the section 2 so that there are very less chances of uh, writing the wrong answers in the answer paper tip number 3 is to not to leave any answer blank not even leaving that answer for the end because it might be possible that if you leave any any box blank in your answer sheet that uh, you write the next questions answer into that and in that way you can mismanage the sequence of your answers so it's better to put dash over there if you cannot write the answer at that moment of time and you can come back to that question again later in your exam tip number 4 is to read the questions first and then answer but then you you don't have to read all the questions first because obviously you won't be able to remember it so what you have to do is you have to read the first three questions first and then you have to read the paragraph and then you have to answer that question and once you are completed with the first three questions then you should move forward with the other questions next step is that that you uh, that how to identify true false and not given this is very tricky question and every student of ielts exam have the problem in true false and not given so uh, see there are few techniques in which you can get it almost right because i have scored 9 in reading exam so i know that how tricky this questions can be and how you can get it very easily like a cake walk so what you can do is most of the times 99% of the times this questions are in sequence as in uh, first you have to read the first three questions of true false and not given and mostly they are always in the sequence so if you cannot find any answer then it will be not given so uh, this is the technique which you can use if you cannot identify whether it's false or not given or true the last step is how you will practice your reading and how will you improve your speed so for that uh, you can go to the editorials page in times of india and you can read those editorials and this will definitely help you improving your reading speed plus you will also uh, come across some very uh, new words so this will help you not only in your reading but also in your speaking and writing so this is the tip for three of them so i guess that is pretty much all uh, you can uh, follow this tips and i guess this will help you in improving your reading scores and preparing you better for your exam